cast your minds back to November 2012 when the River Avon's banks had burst at Saltford. As the waters receded, left behind in the silt was the hidden treasure. It was discovered by a Saltford resident. Now, he doesn't want to be identified or for the location to be disclosed, but he really does want to share this historic but tiny find with the village. It's amazing the coin was spotted at all, worn and battered by the water. In truth, it looks so insignificant. It's Carthaginian, probably struck in Sardinia sometime between 300 and 264 BC. On the front is the goddess Tanet, wearing a wreath of wheat. On the back, a horse's head. Well, the original meaning of Saltford, or Salford, is ford by the willow tree. And it's believed that a ford here was one of the few places that you could cross the River Avon. And it could explain why the coin ended up here. It's significant because one of the oldest coins ever found in England, only eight of these have ever been found, always on ancient trade routes. But this one is the first one in the west of England by the River Avon. And this has been confirmed by the British Museum. Traders were coming here from the Iron Age period. And this is Celtic Britain. In that time, there was certainly no currency in England, and it would have had no value. The experts have all sorts of theories about why it ended up here. Objects can move around for all sorts of reasons. They can be curios that have passed between people. Um, and sometimes in the Iron Age, if people would deliberately throw things into water as an act of piety. Is there any identification? On Phil is part of a local environment group, originally set up to find historical reasons to stop developers building on Greenbelt in the village. But everyone got so interested about Saltford's past that it's become a huge local history project. We can't believe it. I, we, we thought we'd be writing the history of Saltford from the Roman times to now. Now we had to go back to, to, to uh, well, the Iron Age. So it's actually fantastic. But who'd have thought that such a little bit of copper could contain so much history? Ali Bowles, BBC Points West, Saltford.